everyone, it's Candace and Leah and today we want to share with you our top 10 tips and tricks that we use to save money for our around the world trip. Stay tuned till the end of the video where we show you one bonus tip that can save you thousands of dollars in airline tickets and accommodations. Let's get started with tip number one. Put your money where you won't use it. Put your money into a savings account so that when your direct deposit comes through from your work, that a portion of that money is automatically transferred into your savings account where it's harder for you to get to it and use it. Tip number two, declutter your life. Now we're not saying go completely minimalist here, but get rid of things that you don't necessarily need. And that can be selling your stuff for extra cash or donating it and getting a tax refund at the end of the year. That brings us to tip number three, which is thinking about your living situation. Is there anything that you can personally do to uh, decrease your monthly expenses, such as getting a roommate, or if you own a property, maybe renting out a room to Airbnb, um, or if it's uh, possible for your situation to even move back home with your parents for a short amount of time. Tip number four is be more eco-friendly at home. Now this means don't run the water too much and turn off the lights when you're not in the house. I meant when you're not in the room. Well, hmm. turn off the lights when you're not in your room. <laughs> Another thing that that also means is try to use public transportation more often if that's something available to you. This will help you save money on gas and it's better for the environment. Tip number five is get your Martha Stewart on. Start cooking your meals at home. Go grocery shopping, you're an adult, learn a thing or two, learn how to cook yourself some food. It'll save you money and it's probably healthier for you. Tip number six, dollar beers await for you abroad. Stop going out all the time. You're wasting your money on alcohol and it's too pricey here in the States. Save that money to go out somewhere more fun and more exotic. Delayed gratification. <laughs> Delayed beerification. Tip number seven. Now, this is the one that I struggled with the most when I first started saving, which is saying no to peer pressure. Your friends, if they're like most people in the United States or even around the world, work Monday through Friday and they go out and they spend money and blow off steam on the weekends and they're gonna try and drag you into doing that also. So you just have to get really good at saying no to things. I know FOMO is real, but you'll survive when you're traveling the world. And that brings us to tip number eight, which is have some cheap friends. And what we mean by that is have friends that are also on a budget, people that you can do things with together that doesn't mean spending a ton of money. All right, tip number nine, free, free, free. Take this opportunity to be unique with how you spend your time and look at free things that you can do in your own city. I'm sure there's more than you'd think. And our last tip for you all today is to enhance your skills and knowledge. Learn something new, whether that's picking up a language by downloading a free app to your phone or taking a pretty cheap photography class online. Right now, Candace and I are learning about photography for $12, and that's 20 hours of video and skills that we're gonna be learning. Mm -hmm. So find something that's relatively cheap or free and learn something new. Okay, everyone, so those are our top 10 tips and tricks that we use to save money for our around the world trip that's coming up soon. If you have any tips of your own that we haven't mentioned in this video, please comment them down below. We are always interested in learning more ways to save our money. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like the tips we shared with you today, make sure to click like and subscribe. That way you can see more videos that we do on travel. So now that you've made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. Here's that bonus tip that we mentioned at the beginning. We all know that spending money is pretty much inevitable. You're gonna do it at some point, whether you like it or not. But there is one way to make that money work for you. How? How? Six simple words. Travel credit card sign up bonus. We'll be putting a video out next Sunday that's gonna dive into more detail on how we made travel credit cards work for us to book free flights and accommodation for our around the world trip. I already forgot what we were talking about. Yeah. Oh, it's me. <laughs> oh, the battery is low. Great. <laughs> Can you see this? No. 
I don't want to be looking down. Maybe we should have set this up differently. Just read it. It's fine. Let's read the shot. I don't know. Hi everyone, it's Candace and Leah. <laughs> I don't know how to do this yet. This is hard. They make it look so easy. Well, yeah, they edit it like well, a ton. Like they're amazing. 